Less than one month after Fortnite Battle Royale's initial release, we would see the in-game arrival of Fort Nightmares, a yearly Halloween update and event that comes around to shake up the whole environment and gameplay of the game. We've now seen eight Fort Nightmares events over Fortnite's history, and with its progression, we've come to see free cosmetic rewards for those who complete a year's limited time challenges. So today, I'm going to be going over the evolution of free Fort Nightmares cosmetics, see what kinds of items there are, and to determine which event gave out the best cosmetics. Before we begin, I'd like to explain the rules. Like the other videos in this series, I'm just going over wearable cosmetics, so no banners, emoticons, loading screens, and sprays. Each item is assigned points based off how many battle stars they cost, meaning the point distribution looks something like this. The final rule is remembering to subscribe. And with that, let's jump into Fort Nightmares 2017. The 2017 Fort Nightmares update wasn't just a spooky themed update, because it actually changed Fortnite forever. This update was the introduction of the item shop, with the skull and ghoul trooper being among the first ever outfits to be sold in the shop. The update itself added the iconic pumpkin launcher, which is a staple of the event. But with this event launching only a month after Battle Royale, it was honestly more of a save the world event. Where, by the way, it's Fort Nightmares quest were giving out V-Bucks. Like, what is going on here? As for cosmetics, there were zero free rewards for Fort Nightmares 2017. But to be fair, it was so early on, they basically had nothing to give out. Moving on to Fort Nightmares 2018, we're now in full swing of Fortnite having a direction and structure for itself. 2018's event happened during Chapter 1 Season 6, which itself was Halloween themed. A couple weeks into the season, the cube island blew up. With that, cube fragments would start appearing around the island, unleashing a horde of cube monster zombies. They came in three versions, tiny, large, and larger in gold. To combat them, we'd get the Fiend Hunter crossbow and the Six Shooter pistol. The Fort Nightmares 2018 challenges would give players two items this time, that being the Virulent Flames Contrail and the Dark Engine Glider. This event's total is 10, and I think the best item here is obviously the Dark Engine Glider, loud as it may be. I hope some people remember the mistake with these challenges where they gave like 100 battle stars instead of 10 for a challenge, and it gave you a ton of battle pass levels. I remember in my case, I was past level 100, so it gave me a bunch of XP and I got the wolf style for Dyer. This event is nostalgic, but I do remember a lot of people hating the fog, and especially the cube zombies just being in Battle Royale, which is why Fortnite only brought them back like three other times. This would be the last Fort Nightmares of Chapter 1, meaning it's now time for 2019. The Fort Nightmares 2019 event, like Chapter 1, started really soon after the chapter's start, with only about two weeks between the season launch and Fort Nightmares. Battle Royale itself wouldn't see many changes besides the usual loot pool and fog, although this year would see the addition of zombies that would pop out from props around the map, accompanied by a loud noise. The main addition this year would be the Storm King LTM. Save the World's final boss took over the center island, and players would have to take him down in a multi-stage boss fight. Defeating the Storm King would reward players with the Storm Sail Umbrella, which is actually the only Fort Nightmares challenge cosmetic from this year. But to give some extra points here, there were also some creative curse challenges that would give players the Phantom, Mastermind, Zombie, Nosh, and Halloween styles for the backboard bag play. Since these were all edit styles, I'm gonna count them for half points. This event's total was 16, and I think the best item here is the Storm Cell Glider. I really love the Storm King LTM, and I wish they'd bring it back someday without me having to finish the Save the World campaign. 2020's Fort Nightmares is a lot like this year's, in that it randomly interrupted a Marvel season. During this year, Midas, after being eaten by a shark but before being sent to the underworld, came back to haunt the island. But with this came the bizarre and unique gimmick of shadows. After being eliminated, each player would return as a spooky shadow creature. All the shadows would then team up and try and take out the remaining living players until either all the shadows were eliminated or the players were eliminated for a nightmare royale. For the loot pool, this event would give us different kinds of candy, each one giving a different effect to the player, and the witch broom, which has also become a staple returning item. The Fort Nightmares cosmetics for 2020 include the Midas' Shadow Wrap, the Smash O' Lantern Pickaxe, and the Bobo Back Bling. For a total of 16, I honestly think the best item here is the Midas' Shadow Wrap. I remember because of some glitch, they ended up granting these rewards to everyone playing, even if you didn't do the challenges, so I saw a lot of Bobo Back Bling defaults in that next season. This event's gimmick was really unique, and I have memories of the way the shadows would distort your voice in voice chat, or how they had no way of going up, so if you sky-based as a player, you literally won. Fort Nightmares 2021 would be brought on by the Cube Queen during Chapter 2 Season 8. Battle Royale would see the introduction of the strongest warrior of the cube monsters, the Caretaker. In their original form, they'd be almost invisible shadows until a player got near where it would pull them in and initiate a battle in a sideways bubble. Loot pool wise, we'd see the dual fiend hunters and the sideways scythe being added. There were three different quest lines this year. The Fort Nightmares quest would give you the Wraithful Breakout Contrail, the Cube Cruiser Glider, and the All Weather Extractor Pickaxe. A 
Additionally, there were Ghostbusters quests, which gave the no ghost backlink. Finally, a revamped Horde Rush LTM returned, which before was somehow never actually a Halloween exclusive, bringing the Thinking Juice backlink. This event's total was 27, and I think the best item here is the no ghost backlink, because to my knowledge, it's the only free licensed Fort Nightmares cosmetic. I feel like it's an unpopular opinion, but I've always liked the season, and by extension, this Fort Nightmares. I mean, it gave us Resident Evil, which, by the way, needs to come back to the shop. Chapter 3 starts the era of one-year chapters and only one Fort Nightmares per chapter. And even though I'm usually the number one Chapter 3 defender, 2022's Fort Nightmares was kinda ass. With the way the year before played off the cubes in the story, you'd think they'd do something with the island that's 80% chrome, but instead we got DJ Laika with a wolf mythic that turned Calamity skin white and then got vaulted for most of the event. I'm also pretty sure that it got reskinned into Shuri's claws. The Fort Nightmares challenges would give players the Chromic Tendrils Contrail, the Unmaker Pickaxe, the Chrome Cage Backbling, the Everything's End Glider, Finally, Horde Rush returned, with its quest giving the only saving grace of this event, the Pickle Rick Backbling. This event's total is 27, and I think the best item here is- Tier 100 of Chapter 4 Season 4 being a vampire, it made sense for that year's Fort Nightmares to be all about Kato Thorn. An eclipse hit the island, and Kato Thorn's boss transformed into its bat form, wielding a vampiric blade. Players got their hands on the new wood stake shotgun to take into battle with Thorn, who proceeded to die off screen in a quest line. Those same quests gave players the Bat Royale Back Bling, the Phantasmic Fall Contrail, the Sweet Emote, and the Revenant Rider Glider. Like usual, Horde Rush returned and gave out the Merc Wrap and the Batwing Bone Spike Pickaxe. This Fort Nightmares total is 33, and I think the best item here is the Sweet Emote. I am particularly fond of this Fort Nightmares, and that could just be from the Luke the Notable collab, but I also think that this season was easily the best of Chapter 4. I do remember the community backlash towards the map changes this year. Chapter 4 in general felt very rushed and like it was just filling time until they could release the metaverse, but this Fort Nightmares was definitely received as lazy, with some of the only map changes being like single pumpkins outside of a house. Fortnite definitely took the map change criticism into account, and we're teasing a big Fort Nightmares as early as the Big Bang event. We finally got to see it in this year's Fort Nightmares event. Doctor Doom got annihilated, and all the rift beacons left behind soon became overrun from an entire Halloween reality, bringing sweeping map changes around the island. We'd see the introduction of the chainsaw item, along with the Billy Boom and Jigsaw's challenge. This year's quest rewarded players with the Fangler Instrument, the Horde's War Wheel, the Jacko Drifter Contrail, the Fiendish Wand Pickaxe, Cauldron Chill Emote, and finally the Great Scarecrow Glider. Horde Rush did return this year, but its quest only gave XP this time, meaning this event's total is 35. I think the best item here is the Great Scarecrow Glider. I already own the original, but I'm always a fan of when Fortnite recolors item shop gliders for free. I think this Fort Nightmares is going to go down as a good one in the community's eyes, and I think Fortnite did a really good job this year. With that, we've now gone over the evolution of free Fort Nightmares cosmetics. In first place is this year, 2024, with 35 points. Here are the rest of the rankings. In last place is the 2018 event, but if you want to get real, last place is 2017. Which cosmetic from each event was your favorite, and which Fort Nightmares was your favorite overall? Make sure to comment down below, I'd love to engage in the discussion. Finally, if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. This has been Zayworks, and I wish you all a happy Halloween.